All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to talk about how to install the Stardew Valley Modding API mod so that you can start adding the specific mods that use it in order to start having crazy, fun adventures that are expanded now that you got cool mods that turn, like, the wizard into Yoda or give you lightsabers or turn everybody into Pokemon. Um, now you'll have the easy way to go about doing that, because it's it's not completely technical and difficult, but if it's your first time modding, it can be a little bit confusing. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go on to the GitHub page that I've linked in the video description and download the latest version of the Stardew Valley um, Smappy API. The version that I have is Smappy 0.40.0. And once you've got that downloaded into a mods folder like I've got here, just right click that sucker and unzip it with your unzipping program of choice. I use 7-zip. I'm going to extract that to a Smappy file that's already pre-named for me. And inside of here is going to be a mods folder with a trainer mod in it, as sort of a sample mod to make sure everything's working. The Stardew Modding API program Steam ID text document, and a use text document. As long as you've got all of those and maybe a couple extra that might come along with a later edition of this modding API, you should be good to go to continue on um, with the next step. So for the next portion, we're going to open up our Steam apps library, and we're going to find Stardew Valley, and if you haven't already, it's a really good idea to click on this backup game files button here, and make sure that your Stardew Valley game is selected here, and back it up on your computer so if any of the mods that you're installing um, aren't made very well and corrupt your game, you don't have to worry about having to completely re-download it or lose anything in particular. You can just use this backup locally in like two seconds and you're done. So once you've got that backed up, you might also want to back up your saved games again, just in case of shenanigans, because while I do trust a lot of the mod makers because they do their homework and they don't try to break anything intentionally, weird accidents happen, everyone's computer is a little different, you can't foresee every possibility. So go down to this little search tab down here and type in percent app data percent, and that is going to open up your temporary application storage area inside of app data and the roaming folder. Sometimes it'll take you to this folder. Just click on roaming and down here you will find the, where, here it is, Stardew Valley and copy this saves folder right here to like your desktop and rename it Stardew Valley saves. And inside of here um, are my two save files. So these are my two game saves and I'm very attached to them. I've done some questionable things in them, but they're funny and I want to hold on to them. So make sure you back those up if you want to be extra safe, and then we'll continue on to the next leg of our journey. So once you've got all that stuff backed up and ready to go, just right-click Stardew Valley, go to the Properties button, go to the Local Files tab, go to Browse Local Files, and this will open up the location where Stardew Valley is installed inside of the Steam folder inside of your Programs folder. And this is where you will, after we close Steam, you simply highlight all these files you want to move over, hit Control c to copy them, and then come over here and click inside the window where everything else is, and hit Control v to paste them over. And then you've got it installed and you're almost ready to go. Um, I have already gotten this installed, so I'm actually going to overwrite the existing files by clicking on this little checkbox on Windows 10. And you'll know everything's ready because you've got this mods folder with the trainer mod in it. And you've got the Stardew modding API button right here. And just to make sure everything's nice and hunky-dory working after you've tossed a few mods inside of this folder following their individual instructions on how to install them, just double-click on the Stardew modding API button right here. And you'll see this little console blip up and Stardew Valley should then load up for you and you should be good to go. Everything's ripped and ready, and you can go have your fun, expanded adventures with lightsabers, Yoda, and like Pokemon characters, depending on what mods you like. I mean, there's like sprinkler mods and different skin mods, and you can turn this lady into a weird centaur. 
It's all kinds of crazy. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Hopefully this has helped you install the Smappy API. Um, the 40, the point forty version is the most recent version when I did this. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you're running into any problems, let me know. I'm always more than happy to help try to fix it for you, you know, to help you fix it. I'm not going to come to your house and fix it for you. I'm not Geek Squad, but I'm always more than happy to try giving it a, a shot and seeing if we can't figure something out. If not, the modding community is always really happy to lend some assistance if we can't figure it out together. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. Hopefully you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles, everybody.